Hi everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of iPod Touch in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be talking about how to manage your iCloud storage on your iPod Touch. And the problem that happens with a lot of iPod Touch owners is they have the free iCloud account, which comes with 5 gigabytes, and then they start running out of space on their iCloud account, because usually because they're uploading too many things, like photos and movies, to their iCloud account, and then it can't make a, a complete backup, and you'll start to get error messages when that happens. So that's actually the state of my iPod Touch right now, and here's how I'm going to manage the storage. So open up your iPod Touch, go to Settings. Scroll down till you see the iCloud setting, and tap it. And then it'll show you all the things that are being uh, backed up or managed, but actually what you want to take a look at is the storage and backup here. So it's showing you the total storage, 5 gigabytes, that's the free account, how much is available, and then there's manage storage. Uh, change storage plan, by the way, is if you want to actually purchase more space, and we don't want to do that because we're cheapskates. So just click on manage storage, it's loading up, and then it shows backups for the iPod. And it's showing the backup options. So. First of all, it's showing um, the backup size, and then it also says it says an additional 5.9 gigabytes is required to backup this iPod Touch. And the reason I'm getting an error is because I only have 5 gigabytes, so it's already over the limit. And you can see why. I have all of these different apps that are using up space, and Camera Roll, uh, Real Director, that's a video editing program, plus some programs my kids are using, plus iBooks, and you can see the size of the backups, and we're talking about some, you know, some major space here, especially camera roll and real director. And the way that you have to do it is you actually have to start to turn stuff off. Um, you don't have to delete the backup, but actually turning off things, that will free up a little bit of space. So real director, I don't use that much anymore. Um, this will turn off, turn off and delete the backup data from iCloud. So there's already uh, almost a gigabyte there, so I'm going to do that, yes. Delete that. And that will make a little bit more space. It may not even be enough though, so then what you might have to do is actually start to, to uh, uh, turn off the camera roll, because I know there's a big backup there. And do you want to turn off and delete that? Now, I should say that if I turn off and delete this, it's not going to delete the videos and photos on my iPod Touch, it's just going to delete the iCloud backup. I actually back up my iPod Touch on using a cable to my, to my home computer, so this is not going to be a problem if I turn off and delete that. So that, that will make things, that will free some things up a little bit and make storage a bit easier. For more tips and tricks on how to use your iPod Touch, please consider reading the guide, iPod Touch in 30 Minutes. For more information, go to in30minutes.com. And thanks for watching.